How to update the page content of your Freetoast host website. Your Freetoast host website is where visitors come to find out about your club. I encourage you to make your page content speak to these visitors more so because members already know about your club. In this example, we're going to end up with page content that has three sections. The first section has a large graphic, get out of your comfort zone, and it includes some basic information about the club. It also includes a call to action with a contact us link. The second section talks a little bit about speech contests. This is to let that visitor know that there's room to grow in Toastmasters and there's also a competitive atmosphere. And the third section touches briefly on the TLI leadership training program with Toastmasters. So let's get started in changing the content of your website. When you first get your site, it has some pre-populated basic content. To edit it, while logged in as an administrator, open the administration console. Now the administration console can be opened in three different sizes and for this example in editing the page content I'm going to change the admin window size to this large size here. I have to save it, close the page, and then relaunch the admin console for it to open in the new size. This is going to make editing a little bit easier. Now we have a little bit of scroll bar activity here. Each of these scroll bars controls a certain aspect of the page and it gets a little messy messing around with them. So we're going to see if we can get it, dial that in. Now the first thing you can do is grab the little corner bar and expand your page content. One thing you may want to do just to make things a little bit easier, is to first write your page content out. This will make it easier to copy and paste the contents when working in the administration window. So I'm going to copy what I've written here. And the first thing I need, need to do is replace all this content. This is a select all button. I press delete on my keyboard, everything goes away. And then I paste the content of what I wrote into the window. This example here at the top, I'm going to replace that with a graphic. So we need to upload a photo. To do that, click on the photo button, then click the upload link. I'm going to select a file from my computer and then click the send it to the server button. So now I'll go to the image info link or tab, browse the server. This shows the, the photos that I've uploaded. And there's our image. I can press OK and insert it into the content. The next section is for the contest, but I want to change the order of the way I have things here because the images are actually going to go underneath. Whoops. So I'm going to move this text to remind me to put the images in the correct location. So the first one is going to be the contest awards. I'm going to grab that photo. I need to upload it. Choose the file. Select it. Send it to the server. Click image info. Browse server, select my picture, 
Now it's going to be 600 pixels wide, which is about the width of the page. I'm going to change that to a smaller number. I'm also going to tell it to align it to the left. And this means that the next item I enter, that I add to the page content, will wrap onto the right side of this picture. Now for the next picture. Select image, upload, choose file, send it to the server, image info, browse server, change the width to 300, and I'm going to press OK. Now when I look in the window here, these two pictures are jammed up against each other. But since I did not align left the second picture, the text appears at the bottom underneath it, just like I want. But I would like to add a space between these two pictures. So to do that, I'm going to click the picture, then the image button, and I'm going to add some horizontal space. In this case, I'm going to add four. That means four pixels. And now there's a little space separating these two pictures. Now one more thing I'd like to do is add a border around the pictures. So again, click the picture, select it, the image, and I'm going to add a one pixel border. And now we see in the example there's a border. I'll do that for the other picture as well. Now scrolling down a little bit more, I just need to add the TLI photo. Back to the image button, upload, choose file, send it to the server, image info, browse server, there it is, and say okie dokie. So now we have our content here. Now one thing I want to do is divide the content into several sections. So let's say we're going to put speech contest here. I'm going to increase the size of the, of the text to 20 points. But if I leave it black, it's probably going to look too dominant. So I'm going to lighten it by choosing one of these grays. Down here, I'm going to do leadership, leadership training, select the text, oops, change the font size to 20, change our text color to gray. And the last thing I want to do is, is add a horizontal divider. This is going to separate the content. So we have one for leadership training. On speech contest, insert another. And the last step is to include a call to action or a link so people can contact us. So in this case, there's the contact us button, and I can select a link and point that to the contact us page. The same thing at the bottom for map and directions, insert a link for the map and directions. So let's go see what this page looks like now. And our page is updated with our new content divided into three sections. If you'd like to remove the blue bars from your site, here's how you do it. Scroll to the bottom of your admin window and select Default TM Information Pages on Home Page. This is under the Hide Links section. Press Save, then Close. And when the page refreshes, you'll see your content, and the blue bars are not there this time. Take your time, be creative, and have fun with your page content.